Welcome back to Google Apps Script tutorial. This tutorial will cover how to scrape a website using Google Apps App Script. So usually what happens is sometimes you have an API available for some data. Sometimes you can just as previously we saw you can import HTML in App Script, but sometimes data is not available openly. And the best way to do it is actually track a website or kind of scrape data from a website. That's what Google search engine also does. I mean, it scrapes websites and then gets the data from those websites and then stores it or indexes them to be available in search engine. Hi, I'm Vivian. Let's continue with how to scrape a website using Google Apps Scripts. First, let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call this project script website. And once it saves it, I'm going to go here ahead and just change my function name to scrape web page. And now next, I want a website to scrape. So I'm going to say web URL equal to Let's go to this website that I found. It's called Worldometers and it gives me coronavirus cases that are currently being infected. So I can go ahead, copy the URL of this website and bring it here. So what my target is getting this number over here in my, in my code. So to get that, there's a library called as URL fetch, which can fetch data from a website and get me the entire content or entire HTML from that particular website. So I'm going to say variable response var response equal to I'm going to use that library. It's called URL fetch app. You'll have to give permissions to this. But for now, let's go and code it. And what it needs is it needs a web URL which we have right now called web URL. So it gives me response. Once I have that, let's look at the response, how it looks like logger dot log call it print me the response save it run it and it's asking me as I said it's gonna ask for permissions because I'm using URL fetch and inside this you'll say that scrape website wants to access because it's connects to an external service allow and Let's look at our logs. Now what will happen is it will go to the website, get me the entire HTML, fetch it along with uh, the script tags, whatever is in here, if you right click and view source, whatever you see there, you'll see it here in our code. It's not gonna show everything because it doesn't have enough capacity here. It's just truncating because the output is too much, but it will have the entire response, uh, in, entire data in our response variable. Now, once I have that, I want to get, I want to kind of cut down to only the part where this shows. So what I'm interested in is, is this particular class, which is main counter number. So that's what I'm interested in. So that class. So usually you can do it easily using, uh, using, docu uh, using document objects or uh, using jQuery. But in here, I'm gonna use a library, something that is easy enough use a Cheerios library. So this is something similar to jQuery. It helps you go through the code and get particular items from your HTML. So I'm going to take this library. I've shown you before how to add a library. So I'm going to just go with this again. You go and add your library ID here. Add it and say which version you want and save. Once I save it here, I can use it by saying let's give a dollar equal to Cheerio dot load that's a function that is available and I'm gonna give it whatever response I get but responses get context text so this will get the entire text over there once I have that I want to know what is my items of item of interest from that entire text that we received and that is inside a class called as main counter 
dash number which is the class name right here now there might be more main counters because there's a bunch of different counters here but i want the first one over there so it might return me back an array so i'm saying give me the first element which has that class give me just the text don't give me anything else other than the text what if there's spaces around it so i'm gonna say also trim if there's spaces so it's gonna just give me the number let's go ahead and log that out and see if it shows up so copy this paste it here run it and look for the logs and there you go it got to be the number from here now if you see the number doesn't match exactly what is here and here it's saying 248 864 that means this website has updated since we opened it and there you go 864 and now we see our numbers exactly same so that's how this thing works and that's how you can go to any website and scrape if you want to use everything all the text you can just say text from the body you can just say i want all the text from the body if you if it's an id you can say id name or if it's class what we just did before in our case as main counter but then you might get a bunch of different items so you will probably want to go through the array and get the one that you're interested in so this is how you can go ahead and scrape a website and get the data from any website which doesn't have an api